Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. So this is a new series that I'm going to start from today guys and it would be very, very, very exciting and it would all about ServiceNow Virtual Agent. So you can see on my screen and also by the title of the video, you have already understood what we are going to discuss. But let me tell you throughout this series, we are going to cover each and everything of Virtual Agent which you need to know right this is not i'm doing for any exam purpose like csa or anything but this is all about knowing service now virtual agent so you already know nowadays virtual agent chip bot these things are very very common and different companies are using these things right so we are going to learn about virtual agent which is one of the popular uh, bot available in the market so we are going to see how we can create the bot and how it is beneficial so we will start from the scratch we will see how we can install different plugins for enabling this virtual agent inside of our ServiceNow personal developer instance. And from there, we would understand artificial intelligence, which is the AI, machine learning, and different topics that are important, not only configured ServiceNow virtual agent, but any kind of bot if you are building. So the topic like NLU, natural language understanding, intent, utterances, these are very, very common for any kind of virtual agent, not only ServiceNow right so we would understand each of these topics with examples and practically i will show you right how we are implementing so this is a journey that is starting from today and in upcoming video we would learn different different things right and we would cover the whole series with service now virtual agent now nowadays we are seeing a great implementation of AI and machine learning like tools like chat GPT, which are like a virtual bot only and that are helping a lot of people right now. Definitely the question that is coming in your mind is like Pritam, we do we need to learn programming for that. So let me tell you for basic understanding of this bot, how it is working, what are the different modules like uh, the NLU intent, all these things. You don't need any kind of programming knowledge. In ServiceNow, we are going to get uh, so many out of the box topic, which is already created. Again, you don't need to worry about a uh, topic. I would explain you in upcoming videos, but I would tell you the moment where programming is required and we would do a little bit of programming. Like I said, this is not for a particular exam purpose that we are doing. This is whole about, this is all about understanding ServiceNow virtual agent. And the very good thing is that with the bot, with this virtual agent of ServiceNow, it can integrate with other third party application like Facebook Messenger, like Microsoft Teams and many more. All right. So we already know we are going to learn about virtual agent, the bot inside of ServiceNow. So we are going to explore each and everything throughout this whole series, guys, as I already discussed. So let's see what we are going to learn from part one. That is today's video, right? So first we will see what is virtual agent. So we already know what is virtual agent. We are using virtual agent in different platform. Like I said, like Amazon, Flipkart, anytime when we need to, for a support, uh, there's always option like, uh, you know, either you can directly call to the customer care or you can chat with them, chat with the bot. And when bot is unable to solve the issue, then you can directly connect to the agent. And we have seen for many cases, bot is really helping us by solving different problem. And just to tell you, you can tell Pritam all this bot that we use from our mobile. So can we use ServiceNow virtual agent? I mean, this bot of ServiceNow from our mobile? Yes, we can use that and I will show you that in upcoming videos. So make sure you watch this full series, guys. It would help you a lot to understand how the virtual agent or bot actually works, right? So after understanding what is virtual agent quickly, we would move to some examples of virtual agent. We would see that and some benefits of virtual agent. Demo part, we were going to see how we can do a setup of virtual agent inside of our personal developer instance. We will also see how we can install different plugins for virtual agent. And finally, how VA looks like the virtual agent looks like in our uh, service portal in our service. Now we would just have a look on that. Okay, so let's start. So what is virtual agent virtual agent you can see this is a, again a picture from service now uh, documentation page so you can see virtual agent is a conversational platform that helps user to obtain information make decisions and perform common work tasks within a messaging interface like we do like in whatsapp or like any kind of chatting service you can see the interface 
of virtual agent you can see it is just like a, a chatting conversation that is happening between you and the virtual agent right and also we can use it from the laptop where i'm gonna show you from the service portal you can see if you're following my service now series that is going on you know already about that right so next this includes information stored in the knowledge base service catalog and more so with the help of this virtual agent inside of service now we can directly like example like we can directly come and write like i need a laptop to order and if you type like that automatically virtual agent would directly show you the catalog you don't need to search anymore you don't need to ask for help to anymore you can easily configure those things and we will do it and we will see how it works okay now through live agent suppose user have the options to switch to human agent so you can also connect to the human agent that is the live agent and we would understand how this infrastructure is working so basically user is coming to service portal or user is using this virtual agent from their mobile and they are asking for some help they are looking for some queries so if it is solved by the virtual agent well and good user is happy with that if not then virtual agent our our bot is providing the users or telling the users that hey I'm not able to solve this problem, but don't worry, your problem would be solved. I'm going to send this conversation to a live agent, to a human, real human on a human agent uh, who would help you to solve your problem, right? So we would see now different example of virtual agent. Like I was talking, here are different department of service. Now it is showing first for IT service management question. Like I need to reset my password. How do I order a new monitor? Like I was discussing about the laptop, right? Right. So I need a help with my laptop, different things for HR service delivery. So the people who are working for HR department, so those people can also add like new emergency contact uh, problem with my paycheck. How do I request a leave of absence, right? This kind of questions can be asked to the virtual agent and our bot would be able to reply it in a proper answer with a proper answer also we have customer service management issue you can see on the right hand side a simple conversation how can i help you you can type your request below or use the button to see everything that i can help you with so i need to escalate my ticket about the database so automatically the bot understand that there is one ticket which is there on, under user's name uh, this is the ticket number it is showing the short description of the ticket so if you are watching this video just now by coming in my channel and if you know if you don't have idea in service now then i would tell you that just go and at least understand the basic things of service now from my service now playlist okay you would find that uh, in my channel so that you would understand these things very clearly okay uh, then you can see would you like to escalate this ticket that is also possible inside of service now inside of this virtual agent so you understand the power of this virtual agent and we are going to explore it throughout the whole series so make sure you again watch this full series to understand each and every concept of service now okay so let's move on so next we will see some benefits of virtual agent first increase customer satisfaction definitely right so they don't need to go to the agent or they don't need to call to the agent instead of that the bot automatically solving their problem so that would definitely increase the customer satisfaction and also they know that if the bot or the virtual agent is not able to provide proper solution they would transfer this thing transfer this conversation to a human agent who would for sure solve the issue for the user right next provide quick solution so quickly you can get the solution from the uh, user because these solutions or these things are being trained on the bot with the help of nlu natural language understanding with different content creation and the utterances so all these topics we will discuss again in upcoming videos so that's the point it can provide quick solution 24 by 7 support so as bot is the interface of bot with the help of artificial intelligence so it can easily support 24 by 7 definitely it reduces the workload from the agent so you understand that previously for basic issues uh, you know user end user used to call the used to call the agent and asking for very simple solution that they could have performed if they got proper guide so with the help of the virtual agent they are getting the proper guide they are getting the proper knowledge and they are also uh, working and solving the issue and if they are not able to solve they are always uh, reach out to the human agent or they can call right so like i was saying increase of self resolution from the end user so it is increasing users are solving their you know problem what they can by their own that is a good point and there are more benefits available okay so now that's it for the understanding purpose so quickly i will go to my service now developer instance personal developer instance and i will quickly show you show you what are the plugins that we need to install and how to set up our virtual agent 
okay so let's go to my personal developer instance so right now i'm in my service now personal developer instance so if you are new in this channel again so you may be uh, you know uh, you may be asked like why it is not written uh, service now why it is showing dev tech with pre because i have updated the banner image and also the browser title you can see it's showing dev so you can do all this stuff uh, in your personal developer instance i have again already video uploaded in my service now playlist so you can watch that right so we are going to install some plugins now for virtual agent but let me tell you what are plugins plugins are nothing but these are some external things that you are inputting in your uh, system to make it more powerful it's like external hard drive right so you can purchase external hard drive of 2 gb 2 tb sorry not 2 gb 2 tb or 1 tb and you can externally connect and you can use it also you can do external keyboard and different stuff that you can externally put and you can you know increase the power of your system so right now maybe you are having storage of uh, 100 gb or 500 gb with the help of one tb external hard disk your storage will get increased so that's how that something is plugin so this plugin would help service now to make more powerful and add the functionality of virtual agent inside of your service now okay so we are going to install that plugin but i'm going to show you a very easy way or very uh, guided path that we are going to follow and i'm quite sure you are going to follow with me and so from all section i'm gonna type here conversation conversation so conversational interface it's the area so i'm gonna go to this conversational interface guided setup it would help me to set up this virtual agent now virtual agent you can see it is available the designer tab category but you won't be able to create anything it's just the read only thing because this is not installed or the plugins are not installed let me quickly show you by going in the designer tab again in future we would go in a designer tab and start from the beginning how it is working what are the different things but just to show you so you can see i cannot create any new topic it is showing please upgrade all access features contact your account executive for more information so there are no topics available these are all the out of the box topic we would discuss about it later in upcoming videos so let's come back here and we're going to click on so we're going to click on here conversational interfaces guided setup so here it would tell us or it would show us a clear pathway that we can easily follow to set up our virtual agent okay so you can see it is showing uh, conversational interfaces guided setup what you can do uh, live agents virtual agents different thing you can configure so i'm gonna quickly click on get started so here we can start the setup so i'm gonna click on get started again okay so then just i need to click on con configure you can see customize your setup set up your conversational experience so i'm gonna click on configure once i click on configure it would show what kind of virtual agent we are looking for are we looking for any workspace agent chat this is a features of uh, you know uh, a chat facility taking chat from the users directly with the help of the uh, inside of the workspace so we have already understood workspace again if you have any confusion understanding workspace already video is uploaded in my service now playlist make sure you watch that video uh, we have different module like we like I was discussing service now has different module so we were learning about ITSM in our service now we are also going to learn about other things in my upcoming videos but for the time being I'm going to choose virtual agent IT service management that is the ITSM okay also we have extra thing like virtual agent for HR service delivery that is also something that we can add done now we can do a quick setup or manual setup so I'm going to show you the manual setup because so I'm going to show you each and every step which I'm doing to enable this virtual agent in our service now. So I'm going to hit on continue. Okay, now this is going to show me what are the different things I need to install. Not each and everything we are going to install, but yeah, definitely few are very important. Like first we are going to do plugin and store application. So there are six tasks are uh, there that we need to complete. I'm going to click on get started here. So it would open the plugins area. So first and for most the most important plugins that we need to do is this plugin that is the com.glide.cs.chatbot. This is the plugin or this is the external feature that would add in service now and make available the virtual agent things, right? So we have seen uh, we are not able to create a design, new design of virtual agent because of this plugin is not installed. So to enable virtual agent, activate the Glide virtual agent plugin. This is the plugin click configure to get started so i'm going to click on configure 
so from here you can see right now it is inactive so what are the things it would install it is also showing you can read it out right like service now natural language understanding all this other stuff that we would uh, know in upcoming videos don't worry for that so there's an option called activate and repair so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to activate this plugin so you can see these are the things that are going to be installed already glide virtual agent light version is installed within our service now virtual agent spoke which is installed so this will these and rest of the things will be activate uh, once i click on activate right now and it would take some time guys to install uh, maybe 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes okay uh, it's a quite a large package so i'll pause the video here and i'll come back once it's done so we are back and you can see we have got the success message uh glide virtual agent was activated okay so we can click on close and reload form and this time it would show the status uh, active for sure so let's close it and let's click on configure again just to check uh, that it is showing active or not so you can see the status it is showing active okay so let's go back so this is the one of the requirements that we have done we can click on mark as complete so you can see this zero percent will increase now 16 percent one is done next is something showing topic recommendations so this is something we are not going to install it right now that is not that much needed ITM, itsm virtual agent conversation this is important and this we need to do it because this will uh, load some pre-built or out of the box or uh, service management related virtual agent designer i mean the whole topic it would design for us and we can easily see how those topics are working and we can duplicate it and edit it in our own way so i'm going to click on configure now this is the one which will show directly the store applications and from here we won't be able to install so this is the service now store from where you can install something if you have license or if you want to purchase this purchase this but again this is uh, the developer instance where we are working so we don't need to do anything from the store i'll close it i'll close this one also so i will just itsm virtual conversation i'll just copy it and now i'll show you another way from installing plugins how you can install plugins so i'm gonna search in the all section i'm gonna type plugins right click and i'll open it here this will open the list of the plugins which are you know which is available so from here you can see there are a list of plugins which are available it will show you here so i'm going to search our itsm virtual agent conversation plugin this is the one plugin you can see itsm virtual agent conversation so we'll discuss about the nlu one uh, later nlu model but this is the one what we are looking for for our existing you know uh, conversation click on install done you can see what other things will be installed here click on install okay so you can see this is also installed successfully okay i'm gonna close it down so these are the two main plugins which we need to uh, install at the moment so i'm gonna mark it as complete here and we are complete about 33 percent here so there are other plugins which you can install but for the time being i won't install any more plugin and quickly before i end this video today uh, i'm going to show you how this is working so i'm going to open service portal and you have already learned from my service now video to open service portal you need to copy the link and by going here you need to type sp for service portal just open in a new tab and this is where our service portal is located all right so you can see this is the icon open chat window so this was previously there right when we were exploring uh, service portal but i didn't explain you this thing so this is where we can uh, activate the virtual agent so now we have installed the plugin and stuff so if i click on that this will show you how it looks like actually the basic structure uh, just normal not the way that you expect for sure so you can see hi i am your virtual agent let me know how can i help you what's your issue or requested or take a look what i can help so this is the uh, virtual agent this is our service now virtual agent okay so we can type something here or show me everything here we here we got the live agent support that i told you right if bot is unable to solve anything it can pass to the live agent right the human agent so i can type anything like hello or hi right now it won't work because nothing is configured so you can see i'm sorry but i didn't understand your request please try giving me a request different way i'm currently better understanding short sentences 
so you can see this is what we experience by going in a different chat portal right so don't worry up to that point it's ready now next video we are going to upgrade this name this image and we are going to put our own branding right so make sure you subscribe the channel and bell hit the bell icon guys so that you can notify it whenever i post a new video and don't forget to hit the like button if you find it helpful for any question come to the comment section and we'll see you in the next video bye bye take care